Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, At Home with Willowberry. Or if you're new, welcome, but where have you been? I'm so happy to see you here. My name is Valerie, and in today's video, I'm unpacking the kitchen in the old mobile home that we recently purchased. We're living in a construction zone, and the kitchen is a wreck, but I'm going to try to make the best out of our situation. The only problem is, I have to figure out where to put all the food in the pots and pans without using the kitchen cabinets. The cabinets are in terrible shape and really gross, and I really have no desire to place any of my kitchen items inside of them. We will eventually completely gut this kitchen and rebuild it from scratch, but in the meantime, we need a semi-functioning kitchen. So if you want to see how I managed to make this kitchen work for us, then I hope you'll stick around and enjoy the video. How are you all doing today? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. It's hot here in the Virginia mountains. Summer is finally here and I'm getting excited because we have a beach trip coming up in a few days. It will be a well-deserved relaxing trip after all the moving we've done recently. But until then, we need to make this old mobile home as livable as possible and the first step will be the kitchen. But to be honest, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. I know this kitchen will be amazing once it's remodeled, but until then, it's a disaster, and I have to figure out how to make it functional without using any of the cabinets or the pantry. They are beyond saving, and I want to pull them down right now, but we're in the middle of renovating Granny's room, so the kitchen will have to wait. Today, my focus will be on cleaning the counters, sweeping and mopping the floors, and organizing all my kitchen items, so if you're ready, then let's just get into the video.
two metal racks that I'm going to use to store the pantry items on. Tim had some very thin plywood cut to line the shelves with, so the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is get that set up, and then it will be time to unpack a ton of boxes. This is the part I've been dreading the most, organizing the pantry items. I know it'll probably be messed up within a few days anyway, but hopefully I can keep it neat and organized and somewhat functional since it's all out in the open.
Well, I've made a little progress, but it's getting late and I'm exhausted, so I'm going to call it a night and then I'll get right back at it first thing in the morning. It's bright and early the next morning, and I'm feeling well-rested and refreshed, so I'm ready to tackle this mess. I'm not feeling as overwhelmed as I did yesterday, so I'm ready to pull this kitchen together. I need to finish unboxing the pantry items, sweep, mop, wash some dishes, and unpack the pots and pans. It's going to be a busy day, but I'm determined to have a clean, functional kitchen before the day is over. What a chore, y'all. That took way longer than it needed to, but all the food is put away and organized. For now, after a little visit with Max and Willow, then I'm going to go organize a little snack station where I'll store things like chips, cookies, crackers, candy, you know, junk food. I really am happy to be living in our new house, but it doesn't quite feel like home yet. 
I'm hoping after we finish the remodel and we're able to make it our own that it will start to feel more real, but it hasn't quite sunk in that we bought a homestead. Well, there's still a lot of work before it's an actual homestead. Tim wants to finish his mom's room before we start any outdoor projects, but I'm trying to talk him into building us a chicken coop so I can start raising my own chickens. But I need to learn a little patience and try to enjoy the process. I know we're going to have a beautiful home to call our own, but we're just going to have to wait and take it one project at a time. And today, I'm focusing on the kitchen. The next thing I need to do is clean off the stove. This was practically a brand new stove when we moved in. The oven was never used before, but the stove top was a mess when we first moved in. We've cleaned it once before, but I made tacos and splashed some sauce out of the pan, so I need to clean up my mess.
The stove is clean and the plants are watered, so now I'm ready to wash some dirty pots and pans. The previous family left behind some roasting pans and they're practically brand new. I can't decide if I want to keep them or donate them, so for now I'm just going to wash them and pack them away. If I don't find myself using them in the next few months, then I'll donate them. I mean, how many roasting pans does one person need? All right, well, let's wash some dishes. I've never lived in a home with a window over the kitchen sink before, but it's always been a dream of mine. I love being able to look out the window at all the pretty trees while washing dishes. It helps make a mundane chore a little easier to manage. I can't wait to landscape the backyard with flowers and a patio, but first I need to clean the filthy window. These seem to be nice windows. They can open to the inside to make cleaning that much easier. While I was cleaning the window, Tim came home with a few groceries, so stay tuned for an impromptu grocery haul.
Tim made a trip to Sam's Club today to pick up a few groceries to finish off the week. We always try to keep fresh fruit in the house, and usually it's apples and bananas, but today he picked up nectarines and plums. We plan on having hamburgers for dinner tonight, and he surprised us with steaks for Friday. He also picked up bacon and eggs for breakfast and a few sweet treats to snack on. This was just a quick trip to hold us over for a few days. I wanted to get the kitchen up and running before we stocked up on groceries. We've been making trips to the grocery store every few days, but it would be nice to make one big trip to stock up. All right. Well, I hope you all enjoyed our little grocery haul. When we remodeled the kitchen, I would like to include an island. To see if there would be enough room for one, we thought we would use this folding table as a makeshift island. I'm then going to use plastic storage totes under the table to store the pots and pans. It might not be very pretty to look at, but hopefully it will be functional.
I'm getting there, y'all. I've just about found a spot for everything without having to use the kitchen cabinets. Well, at least not for any food items. I did place some cleaning supplies under the sink. I'm storing daily use items like pots and pans, cutting boards and mixing bowls, and the storage totes under the island table. And less used items will go in the tote under the counter table. Once I finish organizing the storage totes, then I'll be ready to tackle the utensils and knives. I have a couple of fabric baskets that will be perfect to store them in. Well, y'all, I think that's as good as it's going to get. I was able to find a home for most of my kitchen items. There's a few things I placed in storage, and I haven't been able to find my Instant Pot. But once I do, I have just a spot to place it in. I'll be so excited when we're able to finally remodel this kitchen. But in the meantime, I'm happy with the way it turned out. It's not a pretty kitchen, yet. But at least I feel like I can prepare some delicious meals for my family in here. It doesn't need to be pretty, just functional, and I think I achieved that today. Alright y'all, I think that's about it for another video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in my next one. I can't wait to talk to you later. Bye!